show in any capacity because uh, I was a like feature writer and. Uh, to it, have it in the world, of, in the like at the time of Twitter is just crazy because the 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 most exciting thing was or is watching it live and watching people's reactions and knowing, of course, like Wells is about to die and nobody else knows it and here we go and like all of a sudden it's everybody's capital letters and you're like what the did you just do and you know a lot of people were like I'm done I'm out of here I'm not watching the show anymore you know but yeah I've seen those people come back so well you also had William Shatner kind of join in for some of your live tweets yes the Shatner thing has been uh, interesting to say the least <laughs> that's pretty impressive <laughs> yeah I mean I feel like um, I'm up to, uh, you know, I feel like he, he gets that they're trying to do, he's a sci-fi legend, and, and we're trying to make a real sci-fi show, and the network in general is doing some things, I think, sci-fi-wise that are, you know, certainly more so than any other broadcast network, so uh, to have him out there doing that has been cool. Yeah, well, he kind of gave those funny nicknames to some of your cast members, like Spear Boy, Brat Girl, <laughs> Yeah, Gun, Gun Guy, yeah, that's right. Princess, and <laughs> yes, Floor Girl or something. Um, yeah, well, you know, there's a lot of characters. That's how we talk about them, too, in the room sometimes. What was the genesis of this show? How did it begin in, it was, your, in your mind? It was based on a, a book, but when I first got, came on to the project, the book hadn't been written yet. There was only, like, a proposal for a book and a couple chapters. Um, and so, you know, my development of the, of the world happened in parallel with the writing of the book, and so they're very different. Um, that said, the idea, you know, came from the book, and the idea is everything. When I heard the idea, I was excited instantly. I knew instantly, because I was thinking of doing, at the time, a show, uh, sort of a colonial mission to another world where they had to deal with, you know, the, the native elements on, on this new world, and nobody was really interested, according to my brilliant agents. And when I read this, I said, well, that's exactly what I want to do, except that the new world is Earth, you know? So it, was, it just sort of set up for me in that way. Plus, I loved Lord of the Flies. It was always a sort of like a book that I, I've read it multiple times, and certainly was one of the first books I ever remember responding positively to. And so, I don't know, it just was a confluence of creative sort of erogenous zones, you know, and that's how it started. With, with the post-apocalyptic theme being such, so vogue in, in TV and movies, how, do, how does the evolution of this series, in your mind, go as, as you go along? Do you, are you aware of the other stuff? Do you try to just focus on what your plan is? I mean, how, how does that go? Uh, yes and yeah. I mean, I, we definitely, I'm aware of it because I'm a fan of it. And, um, you know, it's funny how things happen. We created, not, I'm, uh, this is going to sound defensive, but it's really not. I thought of this radioactive fog, right? In, in you know, a year or plus ago, never read The Hunger Games, never saw the second movie until the sh we were already done shooting the thing. And of course, now it's like we're ripping off The Hunger Games. Yeah. So yes, we, we, we are aware of other things, other dystopian post-apocalyptic shows, but this is its total its own thing. We One of the things that I get off on the most is the sort of world creation of it. And we will now, as we round the corner into the grounder story, which is where we are, you know, at the end of episode five, we see the guy, and he He's sort of our, our bridge to that world, and in six and seven, have you guys seen six and seven? I've seen six. Okay, so you know that it becomes more about their story, and it's always been about will they overcome that sort of internal conflict, that Lord of the Flies stuff, in time to save themselves from the existential bigger threat that's out there from the grounders, and that's that's really coming. And will the Ark? get down in time? Will they, you know, arrive in time to save them? And the answer to that is probably no, since nothing good ever happens in this show. <laughs>